Hello. In the last video, what we did is took our train data set and divided it into Y train, X train, and then built a model on top of this train data set. So in this video, what we're going to do is whatever model we got from here, the logistic model, we're going to use it and validate it against the test data set. Now this is some unseen data for our model. So we can just check whatever our model predicts against what we already have and see how accurately we are predicting it, right? And then once we are in a good position saying, hey, our, our validation is going good, then what we'll do is basically take the test data set which calculus has given us and then predict the survival rate for those records and it will be 418 of them that we're going to do. So let's go ahead and look at the notebook. First thing I'm going to copy this notebook. So I'm just going to say make a copy and change the date. Now I can rerun it from the top and then we'll briefly be able to see what we did in the previous video. So I imported pandas as PD, imported the train data set, imported the validation data set, imported the test data set and then uh, finally, I divided the train data set into X train and Y train. So I did that and then divided the validation data set into X validation and Y validation, right? And then finally, imported the logistic regression from SKLearn linear model and built a logistic regression and fitted the model. But while we fitted the model, we got an error saying LBFS. FGS failed to converge, increase in max, you know, number of iterations. So to do that, what we can do is there's an argument called as max iteration or max i. Now I'm going to save that to roughly around thousand, and let's see if that error occurs again, right? So if I run this model and fit the model, the error does not occur, which means this particular model was able to converge and sort of give us the best model possible, right? Now we should see the score improving in the previous model obviously it failed to converge so the model was not giving a good score but idly here uh, we have 0.82 and it should be idly greater than this particular model, uh, model right. So if I run this I uh, you know like I said we got 0.83 which is an improvement over the previous model with a limited number of iterations right. The coefficients will change and so will the intercept. Now what we'll do is basically uh, set up the evaluation parameters, right? So I'm going to write a markdown code here saying evaluation of test, right? So to do that, what we're going to do is first look at the XVAL data set, right? So this particular data set will basically contain all the columns that we require and then we're just going to use this in into our uh, predictions right so i'm going to say y underscore val underscore prediction right so we're going to use the x validation data set to predict the survival rate right so it's going to be log model dot predict and then we're going to give this x validation data set so if i run it what it does, it basically predicts uh, for the number of records that we had, that is 178 of them. And now we're going to compare the actual one versus the predicted survival rate, right? So to do that, what we're going to do is from sklearn, I'm going to imp import the metrics, metrics, and import classification report now this basically contains uh, you know taking your x prediction the predictions that we have on the x validation data set and the uh, the actual ones and comparing it with the predicted ones right so we'll run this code it's working so i've done it correctly then what i'm going to do is i'm going to say print right and uses classification report and give it two parameters right the y underscore validation now this is the actual one and i'm going to take the uh, predictions that we have here so if i do this and print it you're going to see that i'm going to get a accuracy score which is around 0.83 right 
Now, if we compare it against the model that we had earlier, pretty much it's going to be very close to what we had, right? So we had around 0.83, which is close to what we have within our test data set, right? So which means that this particular model, the accuracy is very close to our train data set, which is good enough for us to basically predict within the test data set. So what I'm going to do now is uh, we're going to basically make a submission file, right? So what I'm going to do is have another markdown here and, you know, say prediction of test data set. Right. This was sorry, evaluation of validation. So small change there. Okay, so prediction of test, what you're going to do is we're going to use the same thing, right? But you know, just going to change the parameters to a test data set, right? So instead of validation, we're going to say test, right? And then predict what we're going to do is for the x test variables right so to do that we need the x data set right so i'm going to say x underscore test is equal to and just going to drop the passenger id there right so the reason is uh if you go to the test data set here i'm going to say it has a passenger id here um and survived which should ideally not be there because this should this is a train data set so i'm going to say test and say run and then you'll see that the survived is not available right so here also i have to change it run okay so going down so now we're going to do the prediction on the test data set so first let me run the uh, get the x test data set and then use use it in our model to predict. So we have now predicted all the uh, survival rate for the test data set that is for the 418 rows. Now what we're going to do is club them together into a submission file and then submit it to Kaggle, right? So I'm going to say all submission is equal to now PD dot data frame, right? And then I'm going to pass and club these details, right? So for that, I'm going to use a dictionary. So the dictionary will contain passenger ID because we need two columns for that. And then I'm going to say test with same passenger ID. Right now, comma, and I'm going to give survived with the y underscore test underscore prediction right now once i've done that basically you will see that it's going to combine the predictions that i have along with the passenger ids in the test data set and create a submission file then that submission file what i'll do is num sub dot two underscore csv right and export it as all variable video logistic dot csv and then i'm going to say index is equal to false right so basically this create creates the submission file now if i run it okay num sub okay it's going to be all sub sorry and if i build this you get a submission file now the submission file will be present here that is all where video logistic what we're going to do is go to kaggle and say submit prediction right now here what i'm going to do is just drag this on top of this here and wait for it to show a tick mark right so i'm going to say all log model so the submission file will basically generate 0.79904 now if by any chance you're getting zero on this particular score that's going to be because the submission file has been not done properly right so what you can do is just convert this particular thing to byte right so as type and you can convert this to a byte 
int sorry uh, which will which will be basically solving the problem right so that's it guys um, with just a basic model with all the variables and a logistic model we are able to score 0.79 right which was a very good improvement over the gender submission we did in the first video right it was 0.6555 and then we jumped to 0 0.79904 which is a significant improvement right thank you for watching guys if you like this video guys please hit the thumb button and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel